Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. If you knew me from over 20 years ago, you would never come to me for marriage help. I was a divorce mediator, but now I'm helping couples, thousands and thousands of individuals and couples with their marital problems using our online courses, the books that we have, these videos, which you should definitely subscribe to this channel. We have over 26,000 subscribers now. Become one of them if you're not already. So this topic is, what do you do when you have a possessive wife? So I'm not going to address it directly. I'm gonna back into this a little bit because there are so many variables, but there are some consistencies that are the most important. And we're gonna start with a different question. We're gonna start with the question, are you living the life that you expected when you got married? Now, I'm not asking is your wife behaving as you expected her to when you got married? I'm asking you. You made promises to your wife. And I'm not, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not turning this around and putting it all on you. I'm illustrating a point. The point is neither of you are behaving the way you should behave when you're married because we never learned how to be married. We never learn how to be married. Now, in some cases, this possessiveness trait is cultural, where it's perfectly acceptable to be totally possessive. In other cultures, you know, some Norwegian, I think it is, or Nordic cultures, they're not possessive at all. It doesn't make any difference, though. Because when your marriage is happening, if your wife is possessive, if your wife is angry, if your wife is this or that, and she's never just those, those are labels that psychologists like to put on people when it really only defines an attribute that bugs you. The fact of the matter is, you're not living your marriage in a way that cultivates love, that cultivates joy, and so these things, these attributes become so big. They become so big. And instead of being, and they really can be almost endearing in many cases. And please don't leave a comment saying, oh no, you don't understand, blah, blah, blah. I do understand. There are extreme examples of possessiveness, but for the most part, it's a sign that she loves you so much and doesn't want to lose you. However, that's not really the point. The point is when you get married, you're not supposed to sit back and expect your wife to be all the things that you imagined or didn't imagine she would be, which is someone who makes you happy, who gives you love, but you didn't do that yourself. So the place to start is this, not correcting her, but stepping back and looking at your own behaviors more deeply, your own thinking. How do you see your wife? Is it with loving eyes? Is it with open arms? Is it with receptivity, support? Do you think everything she does is beautiful like when you were dating? Do you think she's the most beautiful woman in the world like when you were dating? No. It's not your fault. It's not her fault. We're not taught. Which is why I shifted from being a divorce mediator to helping people with their marriages. It's a very positive approach that we have. Now, you in your situation could probably do fine just reading one of my books or even just watching these videos, subscribe to these videos. It'll probably help you so much. But understand this, you got married to be happy. You got married to feel love. But if you're not doing the things that cultivate love and happiness, it isn't gonna just happen on its own. You have a marriage, it's a construct. It has a mechanical component. And if you don't learn about it and learn about yourself and learn about her as gender-wise, she's a female, you're never gonna get there. You have to put in the work, all right? 
Now, like this video, leave a comment if you want. Thank you for visiting. And for those of you who have been waiting for the TMF counselor training, it's coming. Just let us know when let us know that you're interested and we'll let you know when it's ready for pre-selling. But we definitely need to build out our society of TMF counselors and hopefully you're going to be one of them. So again, God bless you. Thank you for visiting. I appreciate you very much. Take care.